gathered here eminent Nigerians who shaped the polity at one time or the other in the country. Ethnic and religious violence in Nigeria is a subject in focus as organizers say the summit is timely owing to the prevalence of violence all over the country. We may have needed to raise his bloody and blood-soaked banner and cry, time for action again. We read about children being hacked down. We read about wealthy women of school children being kidnapped. We read about the growing distrust and divisions among our people and within the great faith of Islam and Christianity. The cost of violence is far more than the cost of peace. Violence breeds hate and avarice. There is no country that will ever grow in the midst of aggression. Speakers enumerate reasons for the sharp decision in the country and are demanding autonomy to regional units. There's discrimination, inequality, injustice, unfairness. No, you see, there's, violence does not just come on its own. It's as a, as a consequence of in your inability to manage this conflict that have arisen and to result into violence. And then the consequences are here for all of us. By respecting each nationality and its culture, and by adopting constitutional arrangements that allowed each nationality to manage much, much of its own affairs and to make its own kind of contribution to the overall prosperity of their country. The summit, which will last for two days, as leaders of different ethno-religious groups across the country as participants.